domestic buffalo. Once ubiquitous across Southeast Asia, their numbers have dwindled in recent years as modern farming techniques reduce their usefulness in traditional farming and many find their way into the expanding meat trade. But in Cambodia, buffalo play a crucial role in forest ecology by grazing and wallowing in trepangs, a key activity that not only deepens forest wetlands but also enhances their biodiversity and affords a broad range of animals access to water, especially in the drought-prone dry season. For Rising Phoenix CEO Jonathan Eames, a reduction in the number of buffalo in the dry forests of Siempang Wildlife Sanctuary was a call to action to establish a healthy breeding population of feral water buffalo as a cornerstone of the sanctuary's landscape management. Historically, in this dry forest landscape of, of northern and eastern Cambodia, until as little as 70 years ago, there were large herds of wild ungulates, including four species of wild cattle. I mean, nowhere else on earth has four species of wild cattle. They were the coupre, the national mammal of Cambodia, which is almost certainly extinct. The gaur and the banteng, which we still both have in the forest areas of this wildlife sanctuary. And the fourth species was the wild water buffalo. Now this has gone from Cambodia in the last 20 years. But the domestic buffalo, although it's not identical to its wild ancestor, certainly performs exactly the same ecological function. So it's very important in a ecosystem where there is grassland, grassland has to be grazed, and if you haven't got the natural herbivores to graze it, you've got to replace them as close as you can to the, the original species. Sourcing a healthy herd of domestic water buffalo was the first step in an ambitious reintroduction program to repopulate the sanctuary and, importantly, through their wallowing and grazing, provide an essential foraging habitat for half the world's population of the critically endangered white-shouldered ibis and one quarter of the world's giant ibis. So these trepangs provide a water source for birds and mammals that wouldn't otherwise, certainly in some cases, wouldn't otherwise be able to inhabit the dry season during the, the absence of water. Well, wallowing for the buffalo is a way to coat its skin in mud, which cools it down as the mud dries out, and it also acts as a, to prevent insects from biting into the buffalo hide and causing irritation. And, but then from an ecological point of view, it's helping to maintain the trepang by removing um, accumulated sediment from the wetland that would otherwise, over time, lead to the wetland drying out. After scouring the remote villages east of the Sekong River, a herd of 18 buffalo was eventually sourced, but not before careful inspection by Rising Phoenix's veterinarian and the logistic support unit. Romain, what, what are you looking for in terms of a good, healthy breeding stock population of buffalo? Uh, first, you want to avoid albino buffalo, and then you want to try to reduce um, potential inbreeding. So we want to pick uh, buffaloes coming from different villages and different areas, so there is more genetic diversity. And when you see them, the first thing you have to check is general health. How do they look, if they are eating, if they behave normally or not, if they look fat or not. So at this stage in the first year, we're looking to buy 15 buffalo to start our first herd. Um, and then next year we'll to look to buy another 15 and another 15 a year after. Um, so yeah, at the moment we've purchased two buffalo already and we're hoping to get this initial purchasing complete by the end of the week. So this is the buffalo we purchased yesterday. So this will be our third buffalo of our herd for this year and we've got high hopes for this one as she's slightly older and will likely be our herd leader. So she's just been uh, transported to the Seekong River. We're about to cross her on the ferry. Transporting the buffalo had its own challenges for the team. One final stop before release allowed a closer inspection of the buffalo's vital statistics to monitor progress once released. So what we are doing right now is just to take some metrics to have a base uh, to be able to monitor the animals in the future to see um, how they evolve. So we've just been taking, taking the girth of the animal and the length that gives us an estimation of the weight. So for her right now she's around 480 kilos. And then we will uh, observe several uh, points on her body and give her a score for today and that will uh, allow us in six months and in one year to see how she's going. If 
she's getting uh, fatter or thinner. Once safely relocated to Trepeng Dai Kla within the conservation zone of the sanctuary, a nearby waterhole deepened to ensure an adequate water supply throughout the looming dry season was a welcome respite from the arduous journey. But the project preparation wasn't complete with the animal's relocation. In Cambodia, buffalo, both domestic and wild, are vulnerable to periodic outbreaks of epidemic diseases, including foot and mouth and hemorrhagic septicemia. These diseases are transmittable to wild cattle species, including gaur and banteng, for which Siempang Wildlife Sanctuary has important populations. It's very important that we vaccinate all the new buffalo because we need to prevent the domestic buffalo from spreading any diseases into the existing wildlife in the sanctuary. At the same time, ear tagging helps the Biodiversity Monitoring Unit to identify and monitor the water buffalo's movements within the wildlife sanctuary and quickly distinguish the soon-to-be feral stock from the domestic stock owned by villagers. We think that the buffalo can help to restore the ecosystem in uh, the wildlife sanctuary. So we, we will uh, have some buffalo in one particular tropiang and next year we will release in the forest so they can maintain the uh, tropiang. Building on the experience gained from this first phase, 30 more water buffalo will be purchased to create five herds of 10 animals with one herd leader in each group being fitted with a GPS tracking collar to monitor their whereabouts in the vast sanctuary. Establishing a feral water buffalo herd in Siempang Wildlife Sanctuary will ensure that a key ecological process in natural landscape management continues, thereby enhancing biodiversity and maintaining a healthy forest that protects Cambodia's wildlife for future generations.